Hello everybody, my name is Ruby Kings and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. In the last episode, we unlocked the mezzanine, which is, uh, Polter Pup is actually being, I know in the last few episodes I've been calling him Poochie, but I'm gonna try my best to make sure I don't do that again. Anyways, we defeated Paul Blart the Maw Cop, and now we are in a cutscene, so let's enjoy. Alright, so it seems we gotta find a way to get inside, so just gotta remove this sign with your, you know, trusty little uh, suction cup thingy, and let's head on inside. It's pretty easy stuff, but. Ooh, and Polterpup is hungry. Oh, look at him with his little. He's hungry, he's getting, getting the cheese. I wonder where all of that goes, <laughs> truly. You never see it happen, but. Technically, yeah, the, the mezzanine is like technically a place where you can get uh, some, you know, I, I guess you could say the fine dining experience, Luigi's Mansion. But yeah, this this floor itself is pretty dope. Um, I don't know if I could open this on my own. I want to see if I can. Yes, I can. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind for later. I believe there's some Easter eggs here. Yes. Alright, so you want to get Luigi there. And get Gooigi over here to take away the sign. And then spin these two fans and you will get yourselves a new gem. So yeah, it's going to be our second gem of this floor. I'm not going to try to 100% all of these gems immediately because I don't think you can. Uh, you will have to backtrack later for some certain gems. Uh, so I'll let you guys know when we're there. But for now, we're going to see what Pulterpup is up to. And he just wants some bread. He's very hungry. Oh, oh, that food looks so good. Just some bread, some pretzels, all fruit. Mmm, dude, that looks very great. Honestly, I, I would be hungry. I honestly would be hungry, too. Now, I believe there's some more Easter eggs in here. Like this, breaking this lamp. I believe you can... Oh, yeah. You can get Gooigi to go up here for money. Yeah, you could, you could put Gooigi in here. He'll go up onto this thing, get some gold bars, some fruit. Oh man, that looks so good. There's yeah, a bunch of cash in here. Ooh, we can making bread. Sucking up bread and making bread tonight, okay. <laughs> some bad puns, food puns in general. And ooh, cutscene once again. Look at him, oh, look at Bolter Pup, he's so cute. And just like five bros chilling. I really love the way Luigi is animated in this game. Just this game captures his personality so well. It's amazing. <laughs> oh no. All right, so we have our first instance of like a million ghosts in the fight. So what I'm going to try to do is smack all of them. Now we got two. To break these tables, so satisfying. And yeah, just suck them up and smack them. You're dead. You're dead. And that was our first time getting a kill with the Ghost Sam. So yeah, this game actually does have achievements. If you were to go to, um, not here, but you can see you have achievements in the, I was about to say the Nook Labs. I'm stuck in playing Animal Crossing. But, uh, yeah, the Professor E. Gad's lab. I believe you can see your achievements, so we'll check up on that once in a while. So we're going to suck up all this fruit. I don't think you can do anything with this cheese, really. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what you can do with that, but... There's someone There's someone keep cooking up some heat in the kitchen. So why don't we go do that? Actually, is there anything in here I can... Okay, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any, like, secrets here. Or do anything. Well, let's go inside. And here we are in this room. Now, you can't see anything. Luigi gets, uh, starts choking up. So what you want to do is start sucking up all the smoke. And you'll find this mysterious mustachioed man cooking up some fresh salmon. <laughs> Oh, 
And he's like, get the fuck away from me. All right, so here we go. This is a, another boss. This is Chef Souffle. This is actually one of the few bosses I actually remembered. What you want to do is uh, grab a watermelon, wait for him to smack himself, and then just smack him in the face with it, and then just charge right at him. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just keep smacking him. And yeah, that's uh, some pretty easy stuff to do. You can actually use Goigi to distract him, but you're better off just you know picking up the fruit here. So right away from him to respawn. He's gonna do a smack attack, and I got smacked. Ow! Right, he's gonna grab his pot again. Oh yeah, you can just chain them back to back. Actually, that seems pretty fair. But yeah, this is the boss of this floor already, and we're done. So pretty easy fight. Goodbye, Chef Souffle. You made some nice, uh, some nice fish. And here we go. We got the next key. Ready for us. And let's grab it. Oh no! Look at this dude. This man just bored that freaking <laughs> key. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so a mouse took our key, by the way. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that, really. If you open this up, you get a bunch of carrots. Ooh, a chicken. Oh no! My chicken. All right. Open this up. You can actually move this clock. I think it just gives you money. Time is money. That is our metaphor for today. Yeah, just eat everything in here. The crow. <laughs> There's a freaking crow inside the thing. You get a bunch of money. All right. So what you want to do to open up the safe, smack it wide open, and you'll find this interesting-looking freezer with a bunch of half-cut fish that looks like they came out of straight of a, an Among Us uh, game. Ooh, actually. Right, how do I turn this on? I don't remember how to turn this on. All right, there you go. Okay, yeah, you have this little gem stuck in a block of ice. What you want to do is get it it to melt and you get yourself a gem pretty dope as we go over here you can see that the mousy is right outside we need a way to attract him so we're gonna hopefully do something cool here by leaving this cheese out on the ground and just kill him easy peasy and we got ourselves the key once and for all or did we not <laughs> Once again, yet another rat takes our key. Oh, poor Luigi. He doesn't deserve this. You know, this man does so much for so little. It's hard to believe. All right, I don't know if you could actually... Okay, you could just break these leaves for money as well. You could even eat the cushions off these. There's actually money inside them. Pretty funny. So yeah, who knows where this rat went? Although Luigi does know, he can see him across the room. He's like, "Oh no, he's on me!" Oh. Yeah, I, if I were Luigi, I'd also be upset, <laughs> to be honest. But let's see. Let's go to this room, and hope that we can find some interesting Easter eggs. Oh wow! All right, Mr. Ratty. Just popped inside that. Now, I believe there's an Easter egg for uh, pushing in all of these balls into uh, a specific hole. All right. And we played billiards on the second floor, and you get a bunch of cash. It's just an Easter egg in general. All right, there's just some more money, some cue balls. All right, so you want to get the sword and have it in being interrupted with a cutscene. Uh-oh, new ghost. It's a new ghost. All right, these are the Da Vinci twins. I'm just kidding. All right, so for these ghosts, 
they're gonna like to hide and stuff, so you're gonna want to try to find them, uh, you know, while they're hiding. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna have to open up this thing. There's a mouse in there. It's not the, it's not quite the mouse we're looking for, but these ghosts are just chilling, and I don't know where they are actually. And I found one. And these are actually a little bit harder to grab. Because they're so slimy. We still have one more to go. It's probably hiding in here. But there you go. We killed the Da Vinci twins. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty easy boss fight. Not really. It's not really a boss fight. But once K. Once again, I'm gonna grab this, let it open, and we're just gonna swing that bad boy onto that, and that's gonna do some interesting tricks because it's gonna give us a gem. And there you go, we've, we've got four gems on this floor. Pretty dope, I believe this gives us some money. Yes, it does. When the pigs fly. Not literally. Some chess pieces. Alright, and I think what we gotta do here is we just we gotta break this. Smack. And smack. And there's the rat! You rat! Oh poor Luigi. He always has to like get out of here. Oh man. He's always dealing with that stuff, and we got some more cash in here. And we're gonna grab this out. Money, 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 money. Okay, so the rat has now run, ran, run. I don't actually don't remember the past turns for that. Wow. He ran away, and there he is. I believe we could have hit him there, but I don't know. I don't think the game wanted you to do that. Some more coins right here. We're gonna grab them. Some interesting money. We have a uh, golden crow. That gives, once again, more cash. Because why won't we want more cash? And we got ourselves a, uh, a plunger. So we're going to have Gooigi go inside to this bathroom over here. And we're going to find ourselves with a bathroom that's been locked, but stored with a bunch of food. So something tells me there's something sus going on in here, so why don't we open up this door? Uh-oh. And we got the thing immediately, actually. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, we got, we got the rat. We got the rat. And there you go! Oh, he looks so happy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, got it. Finally, it's mine. All right. Is there anything hidden in here that I should know? Usually there's stuff hidden in, in these parts, but we have the key. And I think that's it for now. I think we've done everything we could in here. Now, actually, I do want to see where this connects. I believe this just overlaps with the room we had earlier. Yeah. This is uh, the mezzanine. So yeah, I do find this pretty dope. It's probably like one of my favorite uh, <laughs> rooms in this hotel. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be it for this floor. That's all we got to do there. We defeated the boss and I think we're good to go. Next time on Luigi's Mansion 3, we're going to head off to the next floor. Which is, if I believe, once we put this key in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Floor number four. <laughs> Luigi, you're doing a great job. Why don't you make, way, make your way back to the lab, okay? There's something I want to tell you. See you soon. All right, guess we're going to the lab. But we'll do that in the next episode. So, yes, next time on Luigi's Mansion 3, we're going to go to the lab with Professor Egad, and we're going to head off to the fourth floor, which is the great stage. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that goodness. Once again, my name is Ruby Kings, and I hope you guys have a good one. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.